If you hit the ball really hard and it goes deep and out of bounds, somebody might tell you to snap your wrist, and the reason the ball went out was because you didn't snap your wrist so the ball would drop down into the court. In beach volleyball, snapping your wrist really isn't that important. What's important is creating top spin on the ball and creating good ball control. You want to use a technique that makes it easier to control the ball. If you're really tall, snapping your wrist can be really effective because it can help you hit the ball harder. Or on overpasses, it can really help to snap your wrist, hit the ball down into the court. But most of the time, you need to focus on controlling the ball and placing it into the court. So what you need to learn how to do is claw the ball. Clawing the ball is basically making your hand into a curved position before contacting the ball. This is different than snapping the wrist. When you claw at the ball, you start in this clawed position and you stay in this position during the entire movement. When you claw at the ball, focus on contacting the ball with your entire hand. All your fingers should make contact with the ball. Focus on wrapping your hand over the ball. You want to always finish the movement with your fingers pointed down. If your fingers finish pointed up, you won't create top spin. So the fingers finish pointed down and the ball spins down into the court. Use this clawing technique for placing the ball to different areas of the court. Now, if you're interested in improving your hitting, be sure to watch my video on how to line up your approach. The link to watch it is in the description below and also in the cards in this video. If you've been struggling with hitting and have a question related to hitting, please comment below with a follow-up question. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it below. Subscribe and share it with your volleyball friends. And comment below with the word helpful if you found this video has helped.